Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday. I, um, I didn't teach yesterday. I got caught up with something on the farm here. It took longer than I thought, but I'm here today. I uh, just want to start by saying a very happy birthday to Skulk. Um, may you have a blessed day, my friend. It's a real honor to have you in our lives. Um, it is a beautiful day. We have a good spate of rain coming, so I thought today I would do a nice invigorating warmer class. Um, keep the body nice and, and limber and uh, we did take it easy on Friday so I thought we would just shake things up a little bit today. Um, I'm going to start by standing so I'm going to just move my camera a little bit and we can skip cracking. Thank you for your WhatsApp messages and for, for tapping in. It's nice to hear from some of you and uh, feel free to contact me. If you haven't contacted me for a while, I'm trying to catch up with everybody, slowly but surely. But um, feel free to contact me directly if you have something to say. Um, there is movement towards the gym opening, but I don't have anything official yet. Uh, so I will let you know as that happens. All right. Let us get this on. Standing up, feet hip width apart and parallel. We're going to um, step Actually, you can put your feet together. Um, we're going to step side and side, um, but we're going to lift the arms at the same time. So we're going to get a nice reaching and reaching and reaching up overhead with the arms. And each time you step, you lift things. Reach, stretch, stretch. Okay, we're just going to do five more sets of this. Why are we doing this? Because every time you take your arms overhead, you are pulsing the heart, getting the heart muscles to work harder. So it's adding some cardio. Two more. And one more. Good. And relax the arms. See, I can feel my heart beating. <laughs> shake out those arms we did a nice class on Friday I must say it did help me a lot I've been working in the garden with pickaxes and wheelbarrows and heavy things and uh, I feel a lot better for it today so arms over head again and we're going to stretch that right arm stretch the left arm right arm stretch left and now you're going to bring those arms forward so we're opening up the shoulder blades stretch opening the shoulder blades forward forward, make sure your chin doesn't lift too much while you're doing this, and again, arms overhead, and stretching, reaching, push, oh, creak, mine just went cluck, stretching down, and release, last one, arms overhead, right, left, right, left, keep the tummy muscles engaged, don't lean forward, don't lift the chin, good, and shake it out. Excellent. All right, taking those legs. Again, we're going to just step side to side, just touching. Um, and it's a, I want you just to go slightly outside of your, like a step without having to change the weight. So I need you to fall towards that leg. Okay, um, make it a bit wider than comfortable. Keep your body centered, scooping the tummy muscles. And, uh, you know, we're so busy with forward motion that we don't often use the side muscles of our legs. So this is a great one to just activate all the stabilizers on the side. And I'm not using a TheraBand today, so you can be grateful for that. Okay, there is, every time that you bring those legs together, there is, the body's tightening up to keep control, to stabilize. So although it looks like a very light, innocuous mess, uh, exercise, it's a good one for waking up all the muscles around, the flexors, the core, um, and you can hear I'm getting breathless already, but that's just me. Go a little bit wider now, and you can do a little bit of a bend on the legs. And we'll do three, two, and one more. Good. And back to centre. All right, going to do a roll forward and a roll up. Loosen up the spine, so breathe in, bring the chin to the chest. Roll forward over the ribs, scoop in the tummy, keep the chin tucked in, curl forward towards the ground and hang. <coughs> I'm 
relax your neck and shoulders. And bend at your knees and curl up. Good. Let's just do one more of those. Chin to chest, curling forward. Keep the shoulders nice and open. And hang. Bend at your knees and curl. <coughs> <coughs> curl up. Good. All right. We're going to go back to a little bit of exercise on stabilizers. So you're going to step out wide and just swing the leg over um, the other leg. So you step right with the right leg and swing the left leg over and then step wide with the left, swing the right leg over. Wide with the right, left leg over, wide, right. Okay, so it's loosening, it's pulling up at this hip flexor. <clears throat> As you step wide and swing and keep your balance, try not to fall forward or backward. And we're going to do eight more sets. So it's one, Two, keep the shoulders open. Three, chin locked. Five, and really get that leg to swing across. Seven, and eight. Good. And release. All right, shake it out. <clears throat> Getting those hips nice and warm today. All right, so we're going to do that again. We're going to swing the leg behind. We're not doing aerobics, guys. This is Pilates. But it's adding a little bit of cardio and working the, the stabilizer. So stay with me today. All right. Right leg wide. Left leg swings behind. And you're not going to balance on that leg. You're going to just swing it like you're skiing. Okay? Swing it behind you. Swing it behind you. Swing it behind. And it's quite a lot of work on the top, on the front and flexors. <clears throat> We're going to do eight. One, swing. Two, a little bit harder to balance. Three, four. Really pull that leg behind you, pulling that hip across. Six, seven, and eight. Good, and release. Shake it out. I can really feel the work here. Okay, so now we're going into your squat. We've worked the side flexors and now we're going to work on the core and the lower back. So your squat is a great one for that. Also for the front hip flexors. So feet hip width apart parallel. Make sure that your toes are facing forward, that they're not turned out. Because if you go into, into a squat with your feet turned out, your knee is going to follow your feet. Okay, so you want them facing forward. <coughs> Excuse me. If you are unstable in the squat, you can go a little bit wider. Okay, so take your feet outside of the shoulders, and that will help you. If you've got a really bad um, knock knee, then if your feet are hip with parallel, it's going to be very hard not to let them knock. So take them wider. Okay, but keep them above the feet. And you also want to make sure that when you go into your squat, that you're going behind the knees. Okay, you're not, uh, your bum's going behind, that you're not pushing your knees forward. You see that? I'm pushing my my body back, not over the over the feet. Push the hip, the knees back, and get your hips back behind the knees. Okay. <coughs> that is a, a a a very important part. The other thing that you want to do is that you don't want to round the neck and shoulders when you go into that squat. Okay. So often what happens is this is this curling because you feel unstable, and like you're gonna fall over. And so it's normal for the body to hunch up in protection. <laughs> We've, I'm breaking down the squat back to basics here, but it's good to revisit every now and again. If you feel unstable, then go ahead and grab a chair or something to lean on, so that when you go into your squat, you can push the hips back and bring the and you've got a stability, something to hold on to here, so that you can maintain a nice open shoulders, neck tucked in, so that you're not rounding those shoulders and lengthening the the shoulder blades. <sighs> okay, enough talk. We're going to do three sets of eight. So if you have got a chair and you want to use that, go ahead and use it. If you don't and you're strong enough on your own, then take those feet hip width apart. I'm going to bring my arms um, out to the side of my body and I'm going to bring them overhead, keeping my shoulders pulled back. And I'm going to bring them almost to touch in front of my body so that there's a nice extension on the whole shoulder girdle here. Okay, ready. And one, keep that chin tucked in, push those knees back and up. 
Two, tummy muscles in, shoulders pull back, chin, keep that chin tucked in. Three, and make sure those knees are not knocking. Four, you might feel if you've got a tight hip on one side that you're leaning slightly over to one side. See my hip there? Try and keep it centered. Six, and up. And take it slow, really push those hips back, sink at the knees, keep the chin tucked in, long back of the neck. Seven, and up. Eight, and up. And then to release, we roll forward and hang. Bend your knees and curl up, lengthening that spine as you curl up. <coughs> All right. Next set. Ready? And one, reach those arms overhead, push those hips back. Two. Three, chin tucked in, tubby in. Four. Five. Six. See, I'm leaning over slightly. I've got a tight left hip. Seven. And eight. And roll forward and hang. Good. Relax the body. Relax the neck. Bend at the knees. Tuck in the tummy muscles and curl up. <coughs> All right. Last set. Ready? I'm feeling nice warmth here, I must say. Okay. And one. Push those knees back. Two. Breathe, exhale as you go into your squat. I suppose it's not really a squat in the sense of a weightlifter. Five. Seven. And last one. Reach forward. Up. And curl down to hang. Look at where your feet are. Has one heel slipped into the midline while you were doing those? Okay, that will mean that there's a tightness on one side of your body. So we're going to do a hip flexor release just now. But for now, we're going to move on to our toe raises. Okay. So you can bring your feet hip width apart again. Make sure that the heels are kind of in line with the hip bones and the shoulders. So it's lined up. Also, turn your feet in slightly. It's a slight pigeon so that the outside of the foot is parallel. When you go up into your toes, don't lean forward to go up. Keep your body centered over the spine, nice and erect, chin tucked in, level. And when you go up, you want to raise up to the ceiling, okay, as opposed to leaning forward over the toes. Okay, so you're going to peel your foot off, go up to the ceiling, whoops, and heels down. And again, if you've got your chair for balance, you can use that. Um, if you're okay for balance, um, it's nice to feel as you're rising up that it's balanced between the two feet. And when you are nicely as high up as you can go, make sure that you haven't turned your knees out and your heels are showing in the midline. Push those heels out, turn those knees forward, lengthen up the spine, scoop in the tummy muscles, keep the shoulders open, lengthen the back of the neck, get that head pulling up to the ceiling and take the heels down again. Okay, I can feel my Achilles going like a guitar, bing, 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 bing. tightening up. All right, ready? And we're going up again. Go up as high as you can. Relax the shoulders open. Pull the head up to the ceiling. Watch those heels. And down. Good. And lift up. Whoops. Went backwards there. Lengthen up nice and strong. And down. And when your heels come down, make sure they don't pull into the midline. Okay. It's nice to actually have something between your feet. Um, that's wide enough, like one of those round balls that, me that mean that your ankles are pulling in the whole time. So you're pushing against the ball, heels out, and keeping that alignment. But if not, just be aware of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Up as high as you can go, scoop in the belly, open the shoulders, drop that chin down, lengthen up that spine, get as tall as possible, relax those shoulders, and release. And again, up we go. I'm going to my balance there. Nice alignment. And down. Whew. OK, 
can feel the burn. We have four more to do. Ready and take your time, but nice and slow. Let those muscles adjust. Make sure you haven't dropped onto the outside of the foot. Keep pulling into the midline. Shoulders open. Lengthen, scoop in the tummy and down. Three more. And lifting up. And down. Two more. My right ankle almost pulled in there. I'm just being aware of it. But make sure that when you come down with those heels, that you press those heels out slightly to get that alignment again. Down. That's it. Two more. Push down on that big toe. Push on the big toe. Turn the knees, center, center them forward. Don't let them turn out. Pull. I'm not going to fall over. <laughs> and down. Last one. I don't wear heels, so this is always a fun exercise. Up we go. All right, I got my balance. Pull those heels in, but push the ankle out, going onto the big toe. Shoulders open, chin down, tummy in, lengthen up the body, and release. Ooh, yo, I feel that. Okay, I'm going to just release that muscle now. So I'm stepping forward slightly with my right leg, and I'm just bending that knee to stretch that left leg, the Achilles. Okay, so just, if you've got a brick, you can stand on the brick and just drop the heels down. If not, this works just as well. So stretching that back, that left ankle out. And release. Right ankle, so step forward with the left leg, press that right heel down to the ground, stretching the heel and the Achilles and the calf. Good, and change again. That feels better. And the right side back until it feels like it's released. Good, and that's feels good okay we're going to just rock side to side just to release the muscles last time so you're sliding onto the side of the foot and the side okay so onto the out, the outside of the left inside of the right outside of the right inside of the left crossing over the midline okay slide 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 good and shake out both legs and let's move on to those arms and shoulders. All right, so again, feet, with, feet hip width apart, parallel. Keep some tension on the tummy muscles, pulling them in, ribs pulling down, shoulders open. Now get your weight evenly balanced, so don't lean on your heels. Get between the toe and the heel, and don't lean on the hips, pushing the hips, hips forward. Get them up, the pelvis above the midline of the feet. Lengthen up the spine, get that chin down, and feel that you're centered. Okay, bringing the arms up to shoulder height. Okay, very important that you're not lifting the chest and pushing the pelvis forward and dropping the chin. In the same way, you're not pushing the chest up, lifting the chin and pushing the bum out. Okay, so really focus on keeping yourself centered. Chin down. And we're going to make circles with the arms. We're going to go for an eight, uh, just a small circle. All right, let's do this together. Ready? Shoulders pulling away from the ears, down. And here we go. One, two. Don't make it jerky. Do it nice, slow, like it's you're moving through thick water. Thick water. Through soup. <laughs> and we're going to change direction. Ready? Changing direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go for a bigger circle. Keep yourself centered over your body. Long, see my shoulders? Pull those down. And we're going for a bigger circle now. One. Keep it nice and smooth. Three. Four. Shoulders pulling down. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. We're going to change direction. Medium sized circle. One. Watch your chin hasn't lifted. Your ribs are still down. Three. Four, keep those arms pulling long. Five, are you on your heels now or are you centered? Seven and eight, coming back to center. We've got eight 
large circles to make. Don't quit on me. Keep those shoulders pulling down. Your arms are getting so much stronger now. Let's go. And big circle. This feels a bit of a relief in the beginning. One. Now don't move that rib cage. Okay? It's just the shoulders. Three. Four. Don't let that chin lift. Tummy muscles in. Six. Seven. And eight. I'm going to change direction. And eight. Watch those ribs. Seven. Six. Five. Four, don't let your chin lift. Three, two, oh, and one, and release those arms down, shake it out. <coughs> Good job. All right, let's just jiggle those shoulders up and down. And the legs, get your body loose. Okay, and we're going to just shake that out so we bring that left arm, uh, keep the left arm stable, bring the right arm across. And then the left arm. We've done this before. It's just to get everything nice and smooth. One hands closed together to pray. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And release. Good job. All right. Nice warm shoulders. We're going to work on the ground now. I just want to reiterate that I know that's quite intense on the shoulders, but we want to keep that range of movement, um, full range of movement, <laughs> which means that your arms should be able to reach overhead uh, and for as long as possible. So keeping that mobility in the shoulders is really good. Uh, every time we do this, we're increasing the synovial fluid in the joint and we're increasing joint health. So even if you can't do the full range, if you're stuck here, don't not do it because you can't lift. Keep going to where you can because as you move into the extreme, you're increasing the ability to go a little bit more. So I really encourage you to, when you find your wall, obviously don't cause yourself pain, stay out of pain, but encourage yourself to go into your extreme positions of where you can reach, okay? Because you'd like to keep a body that's able to do what you need it to do. Okay, we're going to be sitting on the floor now, and I'm going to release those hips, as I said, I promised you I would, before we move on. So I'm going to bring my screen down a bit. <sighs> the sun is shining, but it's pretty chilly today. That's why I'm dressed like a snowman. Okay, so bring that right leg forward for me. And tuck it in. Left leg's extended out. And we're going to come directly over the left leg. So when you've got this, remember to pull that left hip back so that the hips are in alignment. We're going to slide directly over the foot. Okay, we're not going to cross stretch. Directly over, chin to chest. And gently reach forward. Now, I am so stiff here from wheelbarrows and pickaxes. So I can't even reach my feet. But reach forward as far as you can. And hold the longer stretch. As you're reaching forward, your chin's tucked in. The top of the head is reaching forward. Keep pushing down on that right leg. Keep the left hip pinned to the ground. And stretch the upper body. Make sure the shoulders are even. Don't stretch across one side or the other. They're both together. And hold that stretch. It's a lovely pull on the back of the leg. Keep the chin tucked in. Breathe. Tuck the yeah. And now reach forward a little bit more if you can. Hold the stretch. And last time, stretch a little bit more forward. Keep the shoulders even. Chin tucked in. And release and that feels great okay right side pull that right hip backwards drop that left knee in square the shoulders we're going to go directly over don't let that foot drop out keep it pointing towards the ceiling rolling forward oh my goodness I'm stiff Whew. okay shoulders even reaching forward <clears throat> push that left knee down top of the head point pulling towards the toes and hold Pin that right hip down to the mat and the left knee. 
breathe in and go ahead and stretch a little bit more forward and just a little bit more and release great stuff and that's really loosened the back of my legs up beautifully okay today we are going to ride our bicycles so um, this is really about knee health and stability on the lower back. You're going to bring your legs up into bug, okay? Um, first position is obviously uh, with the arms up to the ceiling. And when you extend, I'm going to show you how it's done. But if I know that my guys really need me on board to be with you, to help you with this one. The right leg extends to the ceiling and it drops forward as the left leg extends to the ceiling and the right leg comes back. And then the left leg drops forward, extend as it pulls back. Forward, forward. Okay, so I understand that's not very possible. So all you need to do, if you're finding this hard, is just do a nice, big cycling of the legs. But what I want you to make sure of is that one leg is fully extended as the other pulls back. So get a full extension on those legs. Okay, don't drop both legs forward so that your hips rotate down towards the feet and you arch your spine. Okay, that's too much. Keep that lower back pulled down and your tummy muscles in and your shoulders relax them up. Okay, but get a full extension if you can. Push that leg down, push that leg down. Okay, so we're going to do eight, seven, press that leg down, six, keep the tummy muscles engaged. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring both the legs to bug. Bring them to the chest and relax the body. And go ahead and roll side to side to release. We're going to do that backwards. <laughs> Okay, so how it works backwards is you extend, pull the leg up towards you. Okay, now I know it looks very confusing. Just go ahead and play with it, but keep your lower back pinned down to the mat. Instead of pushing the straight leg down, you're pulling the straight leg up. Okay? <laughs> it's hard to talk and do it. <laughs> so... <coughs> Great. <coughs> All right, let's go into your back position. And now instead of going up to the ceiling and pushing down, you're going to go down to 45 and press up. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and count this out while I do it. Ready? One. If you can't manage it, just cycle. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring the knees to the chest and release. <sighs> nice one. Okay, put those feet down. That's enough torture on that one. Really, guys, if you just want to cycle, that's fine. As long as you get the movement of the knees and the stability on the tummy muscles. All right, arms up to the ceiling again. We're gonna flatten that spine and go up into our shoulder bridge. Okay, and then we're gonna roll the hips down. We're just warming up here, so get the feet quite close towards the bum, hip width apart, parallel. When you tuck under and lift up, make sure the knees don't fall open, keep them nice and parallel and curl down. Okay, I'm wondering if I have a better angle this. We're gonna do eight, ready, breathe in. Shoulders down, long back of the neck. Exhale, lift and curl down. And two, flatten that spine, keep the chin tucked in, lift and down. And three, lift and curl. And four, and down. Five, curl down. Use that tummy muscle to do the work. Six, push the hips up. Keep the tuck under as you roll down. 
seven. Make sure your chin doesn't lift and that your shoulders are open and relaxed. And eight. Good. Roll down. And now we're going to take the hands forward, pointing at the knees. <clears throat> Lengthen the back of the neck. Open the shoulders and curl forward towards the knees. Using the shoulder blades and tucking in the tummy muscles under the ribs. Pull those muscles down to the hip bones. Ready? One. And down. Two. Keep the hands pointing at the knees, shoulders open. Three. Four. Don't let those shoulders round inward. Five to the midline. Six. Seven. And eight. Arms up to the ceiling. And we're going to do those tucks under shoulder bridge again. Ready? And curling up. One. Keep the feet flat. Make sure you've got weight in your big toe and the heels. Watch those knees haven't fallen out or tucked in. And curl down as evenly down the midline of the spine. Two, tuck under and lift. Keep the chin tucked in. Make sure you go down evenly. Don't let those shoulders round. Three, lift. And curl down. And four, up. And release. Don't come down flat backed. Tuck under and roll the vertebra like a like a belt unrolling. Seven, lift and curl down. One vertebra at a time. Last one. Keep that chin tucked in. Eight. And curl down. Drop those arms forward. Keep the shoulders open. Long back of the neck. Crunch the tummy muscles. One and down. Hands pointing towards the knees. Keeping stability on the shoulders. Two. Three, use the tummy muscles. Don't lift with the chin, lift with the, roll those ribs forward. Pull them towards the hips. Five. Six, and really contract those tummy muscles as much as you can. Seven. And eight, nice. Arms up to the ceiling, ready for the shoulder bridge. Get those shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the shoulder blades to the ground. Long back of the neck, chin tucked in. Breathe in and exhale to curl up. One, roll that vertebra down, lengthen towards the heels. And two. As you roll down, all the way down, let there be a moment of complete relaxation before you start the next round. So it's a release all the muscles and then tuck under and curl up. Keep the tension on the tummy muscles, the inside of the knees. Long back of the neck, curl down, one vertebra at a time. A lot of tension here now as I'm tucked, lengthening the back of the spine. All the way down, and then I'm releasing completely. Four, tucking under, tight, contraction, lift. Shoulders open, long back of the neck. Keep that tuck now, curling down, and release. Six, tuck, and lift. And curling down. And release. Seven. Make sure your chin isn't lifted and your shoulders aren't tight. Down. And release. Last one. Tuck under. And lift. Watch those knees. Curl. And down. Arms forward. Going for our last set of crunches. Ready. And one. Release. Two. Exhale. Three. It's all in the tummy muscles. Four. Shoulders open. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Good. And release. Drop that left leg down. Bring the right knee to the chest. And just give it a nice stretch. And release that right leg down. Bring the left leg up. Pull it to the chest. Bring both legs up, open the knees up, grab the inside of the legs, and gentle walk side to side. <laughs> Try not to roll out the room. Happy baby. Good. Bring those knees together, stretch the left leg out, bring the right leg up to the ceiling, stretch it out. Okay, you're going to come up with the upper body. Again, that crunch 
is from the ribs pulling down and you're rolling off the shoulder blades. Hands inside, outside of leg. We're going to swing. We're just doing eight of these. So you ready? Right leg up, left leg down. Change. And change. Two. Keep those knees pulling into the midline. Don't let them turn out. Three. Tummy muscles in, lower back pushing down. Five. Shoulders open, long back of the neck. Six. Turn those knees. Seven. And eight. Good. And release. Stretch out those legs. Take the arms overhead. And we're going to do the roll up. Toes pointed. Breathe in. Bring the arms up to the ceiling. Long back of the neck. Exhale. Curling up towards the toes. Stretching forward. <coughs> Hold that stretch for a sec. And sit up nice and tall. Flex your feet. Shoulders down. Back straight. Breathe in. And tuck under the hips. Curling. Curling. Arms overhead. Toes pointed, breathe in, bring the arms to the ceiling. Keep those knees centered, don't let them fall out. Exhale, curling towards the toes, keep the chin tucked in, and reach. Good, sit up tall, flex those feet. Last one, lengthen up that spine, shoulders down and open. Curling down, and arms overhead. Last one, breathe in, toes pointed. Exhaling, curling forward, keep the chin tucked and stretch. Sit up nice and tall. Good. All right, here we go. So, arms in, in line with legs, toes pulling back. Okay, we're going to touch and up. Touch inside of the opposite leg. Not doing the saw this time, we're just stretching across as far forward as we can. Chin tucked in, tap inside of the leg, tap inside of the leg. Now make sure that your feet don't swing around, that they don't move as you like cross over. Don't let that leg shorten and knee fall out. Okay, you want to keep it rigid. Legs strong. Hmm? Knees pointing to the ceiling, toes pulling back, arms outstretched. Keep that tension on that leg, touch. Come up to center and use that shoulder reaching forward. Chin tucked in, don't let the chin lift. Minded. <laughs> Reach and up. Stretch and up. Stretch. And we're going to do eight. Cross. Seven. Tuck that chin in. Six. Lengthen up that spine each time. Five. Upright. Tummy muscles in. Four, reach as far towards that toe as you can. Three, two, good, stretch forward a little bit more now. Last one, and release. All right, you can bend those legs, get into a comfortable position. Uh, Alright, um, before we go on to the next one, I'm going to just roll like a ball to release the back. So go ahead for me. Uh, if you're a beginner, hold under the knees, round the spine. You can even hunch your shoulders, I don't mind. Tuck that chin in, walk to the edge of your toes and fall back, keeping that rounded back and up. Okay? Uh, I never let this happen, but for the beginner roll, you can. Okay, for those that are so good at the rolling like a ball, you want to keep your shoulders open, hands on the outside of the knees, balance off the ground, keep that chin tucked in, curl the spine under, okay, and round, and balance. Good, okay, that's just to release the spine. Right, going back into that position now. And we're going to drop the right shoulder in, take the left arm overhead, and stretch towards that left that right foot, okay, and then back up, and then you're going to drop that left shoulder in, bring the right arm over, and reach towards that left foot. Again, you want to try and keep as much open shoulders as you can, so try not to do this, okay, <clears throat> chin lifted, <clears throat> shoulders. <laughs> okay, I've just got a nice image. 
So you're not trying to fit your shoulders into a bottleneck, okay? Like this. So keep those shoulders like a coat hanger. Oh, I think I just had a, re, uh, a flashback to my early training. <laughs> okay, a coat hanger. Remember those those men's coat hangers that were like to hold, yeah, okay, enough of that. All right, so toes are pulling back. The spine is lengthened. Keep it nice. Shoulder, uh, knees are facing up. Don't let them drop like that, okay? Keep them pressing those heels out. Legs squishing to the ground. Turn that right shoulder towards the right foot. Now watch, I'm not doing this, okay? So try and keep that length. Men, you are welcome to sit on a slight booster seat. Get your hips up a bit to, to release the tension there. Drop that right shoulder in, bring that left arm over, keeping the shoulders nice and open, so don't let that happen. Okay, long back of the neck, reach for that left arm towards the right foot, get a nice stretch down the side, keep that shoulder pulling away from that ear, and up again, coming up, relax the arms down, lengthen up that spine, make sure you've got a good strong posture. All right, bringing that left shoulder in, right arm over, keep that shoulder pulling away from the ear, stretch towards that left foot. And upright, coming back to your upright position. We're doing eight of those, I'll take that as one, <laughs> okay? We won't just discard that one, it counted. All right, left arm over, pull that right shoulder into the midline so it's in line with the knee and the foot, and stretch that left leg over, that left arm over. Stretch and upright. Left shoulder in, right arm over. Toes pulling back, knees facing the ceiling. Shoulder away from the ears. Good. I don't know how those ballerinas do it. They are so flexible. Maybe next. If I'd had a daughter, she would have done ballet. Matthew wasn't keen. All right. Right shoulder tucked in, left arm over. <coughs> He is super flexible. He would have been a great ballerina if we lived in the city. All right, left shoulder in, right shoulder over. Keep that shoulder pulling away from the ear. Lift that chest out the right side. Pull that shoulder open. Whew, I can feel that while we're on number four. It's really working my lungs, this exercise, because of that extension. Goodness me. All right, right shoulder in, left shoulder over. <coughs> Toes pulling back. Turn that head so you're not looking at the leg. And up. Whoa. Okay, we're halfway there, I think. Right arm over, left shoulder in, away from the ears. Stretch and keep that hip, that right hip on the ground. So don't let your hips come up. Okay. Oh, good. Number five. Shoulder in, arm over. Stretch. And don't let your head collapse. Keep a nice lengthen on that neck. Keep supporting that head. <laughs> All right, over to the other side. Now watch your hips are going to start wanting to jiggle a bit, okay, as they get tired. So in that center position, push the spine up, scoop the tummy muscles, bring the ribs down, turn that shoulder in. Keep that lengthening. Don't crunch, okay, don't collapse into that side. Turn, lengthen. Toes pulling back, hips on the ground, shoulders open. All right, we've got two more rounds. Woo, I can really feel that extension here. Turn that right shoulder in. Watch, see that happen? Did you see what happened there? Whoa, I lost that completely. So as I turn, this leg pulled back because I'm getting tired on the lower back. So I'm going to just tighten up and I'm going to push that hip away as I turn that arm in so I can keep that stability. And reach over, keep pushing that left heel away so it doesn't get lazy. Shoulders away from the ears. And up, we're almost done. You can hear my voice going light as my lungs are getting squished. Who would have thought this would have been the exercise that was going to exhaust me? All right, toes pulling back, heels pushing away, stretching over, lengthen towards that left foot, get that shoulder pulling away, hip pulling down. Good job. We got one more to go. Oh, let's go. Don't slump. Almost there. Right shoulder in, left arm over. Scoop in the tummy muscles and stretch. Keep it away from the ear. Toes pulling back, knees facing the ceiling. And up. We've got one more to do. Oh, I'm going to be glad to get out of this position. Turn that left shoulder in. Push that right hip forward. 
bring that arm over and stretch and release Whew. all right and then just roll like a ball to get that out so whichever position you feel necessary but make sure your chin stays tucked in we're going to do three rolling like a ball just to really loosen that pelvic area ready and one two and one more three and release <coughs> okay good we're gonna go to our side hand tucked under the head and stretch those legs nice and long one hand in front of the hips and we'll take that top leg up and we're just going to turn the knee in and pull we just want to really loosen this area here from the work that we've done so we're just extending watch that the shoulder doesn't move okay so when that you pull that turn that knee up that you're not turning to face that leg with that dropping that shoulder back keep the shoulder nice and stable okay we're going to do eight seven six five four turn that knee forward as you go down three two and last one good now spend those knees in straighten out that leg the top leg grab it if you can and pull it up slightly and if you have a partner you can ask them to help you here the nice pull all the way into that glute good and release and we're going to go over onto the other side head tucked under an arm tucked under the head one hand in front of the hip turn the knee up as you lift and pull and lengthen it down one keep the shoulders stable two three turn that knee forward as you go down four five six seven and eight nicely done and we're going to roll over onto the tummies bring those elbows under the hand under the shoulders scoop on the tummy muscles without doing this don't round those shoulders keep them long legs squeezing together okay and all you're going to do is press up with the hands and take it down if it's too much pressure on your lower back take those elbows forward slightly keep a long back of the neck shoulders open lengthen up tummy muscles in and elbows down two keep the legs squeezing together three tummy muscles deeply in four squeeze those legs together five keep the tummy in six shoulders open seven and eight and open the elbows up hands together and drop the head down on the hands and i'm gonna come back up here all right where were we here good okay so from this position you're going to keep the legs squeezed together and straight okay head on the ground you're going to pull the elbows against the midline and then extend them forward open and pull them back and stretch them forward now <coughs> what i like about this exercise is that with your forehead pressed down on the mat okay and the overhead extension you can't change your neck position because you pinned your head down so you're really getting the mobility along the spine around the shoulder girdle okay if you can't reach your arms directly forward stretch them to where you can so if this is your your extension that's fine okay but you want to try and reach as far forward as you can even if it's here get a full extension okay then pull those elbows back into the midline and extend if you can reach directly overhead and let your fingertips touch do that important to note legs squeezing together 
tummy muscles engaged, so pull that belly towards the spine. Um, if, if you were like one to five, five being like deeply, deeply in, go about three. Gentle pressure, but any time you're scooping the belly towards the spine, you're creating a core around the spine, supporting the spine. Okay, so it's really important to keep those tummy muscles engaged somewhat. Good. All right, we're going to do eight. <clears throat> I'm not coming up. I'm just going to go through them. All right, but keep that forehead tucked in, long back of the neck the entire time. Ready? Pull back. One. Pull back as far as you can. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And release. Good job, you'll start feeling the nice warmth there. <coughs> we're gonna do alternate, we are, we're gonna do, where? My mother would slap me. We are going to do alternate arms now. So you're gonna go right arm pulling, stretching forward, left arm pulling into the midline, and then crossing. So you're gonna stretch the other way, right, left. Eight sets, um, yeah. Okay, again, keep your forehead down. If you feel like your head's doing this, try and keep it centered so that you get that extension without the head twisting to one side or the other. Okay, legs squeezing together, tighten up those glutes, shoulders pulled away from the ears, forehead on the mat, arms pulling back, right arm, stretch, and left. Right, and left. And just a quick stop there, watch that your hand, your wrists are not doing this, okay? That means the tightening in the shoulder, so flatten those hands, glide them forward, okay? That they don't pull, you're not shortening the wrist muscles. Keep those hands nice and length in a straight angle. Okay, enough talk, let's do this. Ready? One, and left arm. Two. Three. Tighten those glutes. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great stuff. And go ahead into a shell stretch to release the lower back. And then you can go ahead and line your back, pull your knees to your chest. Whew. Nice. All right, we're almost done. Um, we're going to go into a push-up position. <coughs> so, go into a push-up position. We're going to breathe in, go up into your dog stretch. And down to push-up position. We're going to do eight of those. Are you ready? Breathe in and extend up to dog stretch, pushing the heels down, tucking the chin in. Push-up position. And two. And three. Keep the tummy muscles engaged, shoulders pulling away from the ears. Four. Five, six, last two, seven, last one, eight, good, drop down to those knees and shell stretch. We're going to be rolling up Anna so you can stand up so long, everybody else, back into your push up position, dog stretch and walk the hands or the feet towards the hands. And hang there for a sec. Bend your knees and curl up. Good job. I'm going to move my camera again. <sighs> nice. All right. Shake out that body. Jiggles. Shake out the legs. <sighs> Shake the arms. Are we ready to swing? Now just make sure the neck is nice and loose. So just give me a couple shoulder rolls both ways. 
and turn the head to the right, turn it to the left, mine feels pretty good, right and left, good, bring those arms overhead, <coughs> feet hip width apart, parallel, ready to swing and swing, let's do six of those, one and up, two, three, four, Seven and one more eight deep breath in stretch right left and release those arms down <sighs> oh goodness me okay so that felt great i hope you all feel nice and loose and strong and limber thank you for joining me remember to hit the like for this video please and go ahead and WhatsApp me if you have any, anything, any news to tell me. Let me know that you're okay. And uh, I will see you all on Thursday. Skalk, have a beautiful birthday. Hopefully you see this tonight, but I'll, I'll forgive you if you don't do it. <laughs> uh, everybody, I miss you and love you lots. Have a stunning sunny day. Enjoy this weather while it lasts. <laughs> Bye.